What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. We can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Go quick! Take a look at this thing! Have you seen this? It's got a gun on the back! In all my born days, I never seen such a high and dragon. This devil's work at high and a high. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god! This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you but call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. 